metals. Mind you, this is 16 laps of this event. 800 meters freestyle women and look who is in front here and you get the impression this is going to be the case throughout. Stroke rate, all of that, very important. Pacing yourself. Endurance, of course, a very important part of all of this. Unity on Vienna's really putting herself through quite a lot here. Remember, she was only just a few minutes ago involved in the women's 100 meters breaststroke, and she came rock bottom in that. You just have to ask, why put yourself through it? A number of uh, people I've been speaking to over the last few days have questioned that, as to why she is packing her schedule like this so much. And was she even saving herself for this race? And if that's the case, why even bother? Because obviously you need to be in as good a shape as possible for a long race like this one. And look at how far she is ahead of everyone else. If you're going to come bottom of your heat, then is there any point in the first place competing in that event? Anyway, that's what's happened. She's five seconds ahead of the Filipina, Nicole Justine Marie Oliver. There are a few competitors in the second round of heats that will, or the second time final rather, who will provide some opposition to her, but she is expected to be the overwhelming favorite here. The other two, of course, will be pushing themselves hard in the hope that they can somehow get into the medals. And uh, it's, this is a prime example of why some of the other swimmers like Kwatingwun and uh, Joseph Schooling had opted not to race in as many events as they did in 2015. They have just had, of course, the NCAA meet and the World Championships pretty close to each other and they don't want to tail off too much and they've got to pick and choose carefully. And seeing as the SEA Games came after all of those events, then this is the one which would see them compete in less events. And look at the distance now. She was about five seconds ahead earlier. Let's see what it is now. It looks like it'll be something more like seven or eight. If not more than that. Well, it's the last time round, her time was 8 minutes 34.85. So she's still got about another 5 minutes of swimming to do. I can tell you that she was 18 seconds ahead of everyone else in this event. The last time out, so... She is expected to be doing something similar. And as good a time as that is, the Asian record is 8 minutes 19. So it's a good 15 seconds faster than Yenti on Vienna. And that sometimes just shows the difference between Southeast Asia swimming and the rest of the region, the rest of the world. But it was like shows of schooling have really thrown the region into the map, haven't they? Win is uh, really, really very comfortable here.
but then, then she's uh, still got to compete in the 200 meters individual medley later tonight. So she'll be needing plenty of rest and recovery. So in many ways, I think she'll be very grateful not to be involved in the event that she uh, was last in, which is the 100 meters express stroke. Mind you, that will be a direct final this evening in the uh, women, or the men's uh, 4 by 200 meters freestyle relay. Where Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam and Indonesia will square off. Singapore again will be the overwhelming favourites for that one. When you're racing on your own like this, uh, it really does come down to looking at personal times and bettering yourself. We've seen races here where swimmers are lapped. That's hopefully not going to be the case here, but sometimes not that easy when you're not being tested and you've got no one else around you and you were remotely close just a couple more laps to go also and Tian Bien who was the queen of the pool in 2015 with Eight goals. Just a reminder then. She's almost done. And because it's a final, she will push herself now knowing that. Remember, her aim now will be to try and beat her time. And a time of eight minutes. 34.85 not sure she's going to make that let's see if she can do it Nguyen Thi An Vien of Vietnam looking to try and get a new games record 8 minutes 34.85 if she does I think she'll make it extremely difficult for everyone else around her. Well, I'm not sure she'll get close to that. Well, not too far off. 8 minutes 35.55. <laughs> that was just a little reaction that she couldn't do it. Yep. Bit disappointed. But I tell you what, it's still faster than anyone registered in 2015. And uh, just coming after her, some polite applause there. Nicole Justine, Mary Oliver, and Lady Mitao of Vietnam is third. But it all comes down to the timings, doesn't it? And she has set her stall out. Come and beat me. That's the message to the next time final. No surprises. Ladies and gentlemen. On the scoreboard, Lunti is Lunti for event how she swam in this one. For your information, 
Time Panel 2 will be held in the evening. So, we've been told that Time Final 2 will be held in the evening. And the result.